Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what I have is two points, negative 3 comma negative 8, negative 5 comma 7. Um, so now in this next example, what we're going to be doing is very similar. It's actually just a combination of what we did um, before. Now what we're going to be doing is writing the equation of the line, but given two points. So now, last class, um, last problem, I gave you uh, the slope and a point, and we had to write the equation. Now I'm just giving you two points. So to write the equation of the line, which is in the form y equals mx plus b, now we don't know what the slope is, and we don't know what the y-intercept is. Because remember, the point for the y-intercept is 0 comma b. So the first thing I want to look for, are any of these points the y-intercept? Do any of them have an x value of 0? Yes. An x value of 0? No. None of them have an x value of 0. So therefore, I need to figure out what the slope is, as well as figure out what the y-intercept is. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do, Blake, is identify the slope, which we have gone over as the change in y over the change in x. So x1, y, x, y, 1, 1. So by using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, my slope is going to be 7 minus a negative 8 divided by negative 5 minus a negative 3. Please note my use of parentheses, all right? Thank you, Blake. I'm glad. Thanks. Um, therefore, this becomes 15, and that becomes a negative 2. So therefore, my slope is equal to a fifth, negative 15 halves. All right? Now, the next one is we need to choose a point. Um, last time, last set of problems, I gave you the one point, right? And you just took your point and plugged it in. Now, we have the option of which points we'd like to choose. All right? So you don't have, you can pick any points. And usually, obviously, I always like to, if possible, I'm looking for an even. I'm looking for a point that has an even x value. Why? Because I'm going to be multiplying it by 15 halves, right? Remember that you multiply the x value by the slope? So I obviously want my 2 to divide into an even number. Unfortunately for me, both of my x values are odd numbers. So there's really not a better point to choose. I'm going to choose, um, I'll just choose this one to work with. So therefore, I have y equals, I now know my m, my slope, which is negative 15 halves, x plus b. I still don't know the y-intercept, but I have a point that I can plug in. And again, ladies and gentlemen, it does not matter which point you choose. So um, to do this now, basically all I'm going to do is multiply again across. So I have negative 8 equals. That becomes a uh, positive 45 over 2 plus b. Now, to go ahead and solve for b, I subtract 45 over 2. Remember, to get this, we have to have common denominators. So I'll write negative 8 over 1 minus 45 over 2 equals b. Got to get common denominators, so I'll multiply by 2 over 2. So I have negative 16 over 2 minus 45 over 2 equals b. Negative 16 minus 45 is going to be 61 over 2. <coughs> so therefore, my final answer is y equals negative 15 halves x uh, minus 61 over 2. Yes? Where? Where you multiply the 15 halves times the negative 3. Right there. What do you mean? Well, I have some people talking right now, so it's kind of hard for me to understand what your question is. So you, I multiplied the negative 3 times negative 15 to give me 45, right? Right. <laughs> what reciprocal of what? Doesn't matter. 
multiply by the reciprocal, right? Now you can, if it's a division problem with fraction, you can multiply by the reciprocal. Can you divide by the reciprocal? Can you go backwards? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not really relevant, though, to the problem, though. It could be. 